Here are 10 frequently asked questions on how to implement clean architecture that I wish I had known the answers to from the start. Let's dive in. What is a use case interactor? Use case interactors, or just use cases for short, hold all the application specific business logic. This is where the important decisions and calculations for each feature are made. When you start a new feature, this is usually where you begin your design and implementation. What are entities? In an enterprise, Entities encapsulate high-level business rules that can be shared across multiple applications. In a single application, entities represent the most high-level rules shared across multiple use cases. Unlike simple data structures, entities also contain logic, like calculations and validations. Can use cases depend on each other? In general, avoid unnecessary coupling between use cases to reduce complexity and make testing easier. Instead, consider moving common business rules into entities. However, composing high-level workflows from low-level use cases is perfectly fine as long as it's done intentionally. Do I require interfaces for my use cases? Clean architecture introduces input and output ports for use cases, but they are optional. Use interfaces when you want loose coupling between controllers, presenters and use cases and if you want to test your controllers and presenters in isolation. Do I always need a use case even for simple query APIs? No, if you are just querying and displaying data, you don't need a full use case. But don't fall into the trap of adding business logic to controllers or presenters for the sake of convenience. If logic starts creeping in, refactor it into a use case to keep concerns cleanly separated. Do I always need a presenter? The role of a presenter is to convert entities and business objects into data structures that are most convenient for the view. It might be tempting to skip this step as it can feel like unnecessary overhead. And for small apps, it might even work just fine. But as soon as your application becomes even slightly more complex, I strongly recommend using dedicated presenters and view models to avoid coupling your business logic to the UI. Can I have multiple presenters per use case? Yes. If you have multiple ways to present the same data, like a web page and a spreadsheet export, use separate presenters for each. This keeps each presenter focused and specific and ensures that your business logic stays free of UI specific details. Where should repositories be located? Typically, repositories belong into the interface adapters layer, bridging use cases and external data sources. But if you are using an external library, like Entity Framework or LightDB, you need to place the implementation into the Frameworks layer, otherwise you will violate the dependency rule. Can I have less than or more than four layers? Yes, the four-layer model is just a conceptual guideline, not a strict rule. In small applications, you might skip the entities or the interface adapters layer altogether. In larger projects, you might have multiple use cases layers for low-level and high-level use cases. What is the role of the main component? The dependency inversion principle is a key concept of clean architecture. If high-level modules use low-level modules through abstractions, there needs to be a place to wire everything together. And that's the role of the main component. In most .NET applications, this happens in the program CS or startup CS, often with the help of a dependency injection container. Got more questions? Let me know in the comments.